Hey, what's up, guys? I have um, the Best Buy Exclusive Steelbook right here for Hellboy. This is the, like I said, Best Buy version. There is a version from Target that's like a double-sided thing um, that actually has, um, I think, nicer artwork, some of the artwork from they used for the posters and stuff. But I don't like double-sided artwork because I feel like it's weird. Um, and I do kind of like, this is the comic book art. Um, this is what Hellboy looks like in the comics, or the, the graphic novels and stuff. And I thought this was cooler, and I, I like going with Best Buy usually. Um, but uh, I think it's just, there's no, it's 4K Blu-ray digital. No 3D or anything. I don't think there's even resistance to be. Um, I did see this in the theater, and while I, I enjoyed, like, Watching the theater, there were some moments I liked. I liked some, like, the cinematography was okay. The locations were nice. Um, the acting was, uh, I don't know. I'm going to start opening this up. Um, it was a disappointment, I'd say. Um, and I'm sure Lionsgate, whoever released this, was it Lionsgate? Yeah, Lionsgate and Summit or whoever. Millennium Media. Like, it was it was a disappointment at the box office, too, because nobody really saw this. I would, obviously, everybody, would I think, would prefer a... Um, Everyone besides Mike Mignola, the creator, wanted to see a sequel, or a, a second sequel, Hellboy 3, with uh, Gamer Del Toro, but um, that for whatever reason just did not happen because um, Mike Mignola did not like his take on it, I think, because um, Gamer Del Toro's version, I think, really did differ from the comics. I haven't read the comics, but I've read some storylines about it, and it sounds like it just, Hellboy, uh, Ron Perlman's Hellboy was just a lot like, goofier, I think. I'm not exactly sure, so don't quote me on that. But it was, it, uh, Mike Mignola had a problem with the way it was he was treated, the character was, and the storyline and stuff. Uh, Guillermo del Toro made it a lot more his style, which I thought really worked with the character. But um, I think that was the main reason, one of the main reasons why it never went into the third. And they're expensive, obviously. And I don't think Hellboy 2 made a shitload of money. But um, anyway, this came out... It was disappointing, and it did not do great in the theater. There's like a dent here, I can't tell. Look, is there something there? It looks like there's like an indentation there or something. There. I'm imagining shit, sorry. But they released this one, which, you know, whatever. Like I said, I saw it. It was, it was whatever. Um, it's got the 4K on the right here, and the uh, Blu-ray on the left. This is, I think, typically a Summit Lionsgate thing. They have the discs two separate sides as opposed to just one side, which is fine. But uh, I'm just noticing that. There's the image of Hellboy in the forest, or whatever the hell this is. Maybe that tree of whatever the fuck I watched in the film. Um, the storyline, I thought, was... I don't know. I'm not really sure what to say. Like... I don't know. I guess I'm kind of I'm kind of speechless. I'm I'm I'm. This this did not need to be made. I really really after coming out I came out of the theater I was thinking like you know I didn't hate it, but it it does not need to exist. I really would have preferred a third Hellboy with a Ron Perlman even at his older age. He's like 62. Now he was he said he was game, and uh, Guillermo del Toro was game. Everybody who'd worked on him before was down with it, but for whatever damn reason, they just didn't. So. We got this one instead, and I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive they're not going to make any more because this just, just it did not do well financially and critically. I think critical critics pretty much destroyed it, eviscerated it, saying it sucked or it was it was just a void of life. Like there was just something about Guillermo del Toro's version versions of the two films that were just so lively and so they were funny and the characters while they like they were kind of an interpretation of Mike Mignola's characters from the books. They were they were like their own. I don't know. Sorry if I'm butchering the, the, the lore and stuff. Like I said, I don't know everything about the Hellboy comics, but I know the movies were very good, in my opinion. And uh, I thought they did they did okay financially. They just did not make as much as they wanted. And for whatever reason, they thought they could make more money rebooting it, I guess. But um, cause reboots always make more money, right? Fucking Hollywood. <sighs> so anyway, here's a steel book. Like I said, this is the um, Best Buy exclusive with the comic art. There is one. At the Target, I think it's just one steelbook, and I think that actually that one might just be Blu-ray and not 4K. I think. So if you just want it for the the artwork and stuff, then whatever. But and I think I said it's double-sided. But I went with this one because I wanted the 4K and I liked this artwork enough. Um, 
yeah, I don't know. The movie itself, I, I kind of interested in the features. Maybe I should look at those. I didn't even show you today. Did I? I don't know. Horrifyingly good time. Who said that? The rap, and it's absolutely deranged and it's great. I don't know about that. Um, does say anything about special? Are there any special features listed here? Tales of the Wild Hunt, Hellboy Reborn, three-part documentary, deleted scenes, and pre-visualizations. This little line down here. Let's take a look at the description. Hellboy's back and he's on fire. And this action-packed story ripped from the pages of Mike Mignola's seminal work, the legendary half-demon superhero, David Harbour, is called to the English countryside to battle a trio of rampaging giants. That scene was kind of cool. I liked it. There he discovers the Blood Queen, Nimiu, I believe, Milojovic, who, you know, not a huge fan, a resurrected ancient sorceress thirsting to avenge a past betrayal. Suddenly caught in a clash between the supernatural and the human, Hellboy is now hell-bent on stopping Nimiu without triggering the end of the world. So yeah, um, <clears throat> who else is in this? Milojovic, um, Ian McShane is in it, you know, from Deadwood, and, um, uh, the John Wick films and uh, other things. Um, oh, he was Wednesday in um, uh, American Gods, which I've only seen the first season of that, but uh, I heard it was pretty good the second season. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm just kind of, I feel like I'm just rambling and making content for no reason, so that's it. Two discs. Um, the movie itself is just a meh. Watch it for yourself, obviously, if you want to watch it, but, um, I, I wasn't a huge fan. I really did prefer the Ron Perlman, the uh, Guillermo del Toro slash Ron Perlman versions. Um, in fact, I feel like watching that instead of this right now. But maybe I need to check it out again. It's been a few months. I don't know. It's like they purposely made the character's face like uglier too. I don't know what the hell. There's just something about the makeup that was just a little bit off. I don't know. I'm happy to have the steel book because I, I want to check it out again to see just if it's just like. At the time, like I said, I did enjoy. When I came out of the theater, I I was okay with it. I would have probably given it like a maybe a six out of ten, maybe five and a half. But I'd like on a, on retrospect, thinking about it, it's more like a four and a half, maybe a five. I don't know. It does not need to exist. I would have so much preferred a, thir a third film from Guillermo, but uh, whatever. This is what we got, and they're not going to make any more apparently. So, okie doke. And then of course the whole controversy surrounding the the filming of the, of the the making of the film with the director. What's his name? Uh, it's not saying on here. What the hell is his name? I don't remember what his name is, but, um, he did The Descent, I think, and there was a whole thing with him and, like, an actress, and, like, he was, like, not on set. I don't know. You can read about it if you want. There was a lot of shit surrounding the making, which, of course, there was. Anyway, who fucking cares? I'm done with, I'm done with this, so let's just end this now. Thank you for watching. Um, I do like this artwork, though. That's cool. Anyway. Thanks nice for watching, guys. I got more stuff coming later. Or don't, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, hold on. Oh, this is... Okay, never mind. No, I'm, I'm babbling and rambling. Sorry, I just need to turn this off. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been great. <laughs> this is an eight-minute video about me just hating on the movie, but... Steelbook looks nice. It's got the 4K and whatever. There's a second Steelbook at Target, and it's got whatever it's got. So, thanks for watching. Peace out. See you later. <laughs>